All right, so here we got the Stay Right slash Pentair VSP, and uh, gonna go over how to uh, set the runtime. So step one, turn it off. How do you know it's off? That light is off, because when you turn it on, the green light is on. So start, stop, make sure that the light is off. Now that it's in the off mode, you can uh, actually get to work. Um, there's preset run times for this. The factory default will have uh, for each number an RPM and a runtime. Um, but what I do is I just, um, you know, I set one runtime at a certain RPM. Um, and I override the other two. If you don't, if you just turn this on, um, this is gonna run for a certain amount of time. That'll run for a couple hours. That'll run for a couple hours, all at different speeds. I like just putting everything at one speed. Okay, the only time I would ever recommend that you have multiple uh, speeds, two different run times, is if you have a pool cleaner. So in this situation, let's do that. Let's say uh, I wanna run my pool cleaner for three or four hours. I would set that to run at a very high RPM for three or four hours. And then I would run the rest of the day at a lower RPM for let's say eight or nine. So let's do that. Um, you're gonna hit the number one and you're gonna get in there. And the first number you're gonna see says 8 a.m. That's the start time of the pump, that's when it's gonna start. And to adjust that, you just go up and down. So if you want it to start earlier, just go down. If you want it to start later, go up. So 8 a.m. is good for me. You're gonna hit it again. Now it's gonna tell you how many hours. This pump, I got it running for 14 hours because that's what I have it set. But we're gonna do, uh, you know, we're gonna run it for three hours. So again, all adjusting time is just the plus and the minus. So let's say I got a cleaner. I want to run it, starts at 8 a.m. And I want to run it for three hours, okay? And how many RPM? Since it's a cleaner, I want it to run at 3,000 RPMs. You can adjust this whatever you want. Okay, and now for the rest of the day, I want it to run at a different speed because I don't want my cleaner running for 10 hours in this theoretical example. So then I would hit number two and it's set at 1400 RPMs, which is super low. So again, in this example, I'm pressing and holding. Okay, so well, let's say I want to run it at 2400 RPMs. I'm gonna hit it again. It's at 2400 RPMs, and I, I zeroed it out, so it's, it's not gonna run at all. But let's say I want to run it for eight hours. Okay, that's it. And for this, zero. So I'm not running that one at all. So in this example, Pump uh, timer one is going to run at 3,000 RPMs. It's going to start at 8 a.m. and it's going to run for three hours. And all you got to do is keep hitting this to scroll through those options. Timer two is going to run at 2,400 RPMs for eight hours. Start. And now your pump is priming and that is set. I'm going to set it back to my presets. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through it pretty quick and then turn it off. I don't want a second pump, so I'm gonna to go to number two for the eight hours, and I'm just gonna press down until it zeroes out. That's how you eliminate one of the timers. Bam, guess what? So that's not gonna run at all. And timer one, which is set for 3,000, which is kinda of high. Each pool is different, but this pool, what worked was, uh, Eight hours, no, this was at 14 hours. So I'm just pressing up, pressing up. Oh shit, that's the time it starts, 8 a.m. Okay, it's gonna start at 8 a.m. And how many hours are gonna run it for? No, not three, 14. 
for this pull. Every pull is different again. All right, so that's what we got. So pump one, gonna 2600 RPM is gonna start at 8 a.m. and it's gonna run for 14 hours. Pump two, zero. And again, uh, when you get this out the factory, you're gonna have cycle one is gonna run, that's gonna run for a couple hours, that's gonna run for a couple hours. If you wanna get rid of these other two and you just wanna run it one hour, that's how you do it. Go into the options, you know, make sure it's off. Hit the pump two until you get there, up and down, and that's it. So I'm back where I need to be. That's how you set your Stay Right Pentair VSP, and I'll see you next time.